how your food consumption can save the environment. Meet Lisa. Lisa is at the grocery store with her friend Tony when she recognizes something astonishing. The pineapples in the store originate from a country far away. Lisa is confused. She thinks about the distance the pineapples have been transported. Is it possible that our food consumption affects the environment? She asks Tony. Luckily, Tony is an expert in this field. About 25% of the greenhouse emissions result from global agriculture and food production. That is more pollution than all the cars in the world produce. Both production and transportation create noxious emission gases. That increases global warming significantly. Animal products, and especially meat, have a great impact. This is because they require much more resources than greens, such as land, feed or water. One kilogram of beef, for example, requires more than 15,000 liters of water and emits about 14 to 20 kilograms of emission gases, whereas one kilogram of salad only causes 0.5 kilogram of emissions. Lisa is shocked. What can she do about it? Tony knows the answer again. Reduce eating animal products. You don't have to go vegan, but eating many fruits and vegetables is more environmentally friendly than eating meat. And saving the climate starts even before food consumption. Take the public transport, the bike or go by foot when doing small shopping. Stop wasting food, buy only what you need and cook portions that you can finish. Lisa is happy. Now she understands how our food consumption affects the environment and what she can do to save it. She puts the pineapple back. Instead, she grabs a few pears. From now on, only regional products will make it into her shopping bag.